Maptitude mapping software gives you the tools, maps, and data you need to analyze and understand how geography affects you and your business. This video will demonstrate a number of ways that you can use Maptitude and the Canada Country Package to better understand where your customers are, spot trends that cannot be seen in tables and spreadsheets alone, and answer geographic questions that impact your operations. For example, here is an Excel file that contains a spreadsheet of customer data, including address, sales volume, and sales territory information, and a second spreadsheet with office location information. Using Maptitude, I can create a new map using this data. The first thing I can do is use the customer worksheet to create a pin map showing the location of each customer on a map. Create a map wizard will guide you through the options of choosing how to present your data, and when complete, will display a map such as this showing exactly where the customers are located. Another way to use the data in a map is to attach it to an area layer, such as postal codes, so that you can see the total sales, the average sales, or the total number of customers in each postal code. Maptitude offers a number of ways of illustrating the data on a map, such as with color heat maps, charts, and dot densities. You can see with this color theme where the sales are highest, shown with darker shades, and where sales are lower. And if I launch Create a Map Wizard one more time, I can also add my offices as a point layer to the map. I don't need a color theme, but I will label the offices with their names. And this time, I will also use one of the Create a Map Wizard analysis options to add buffers around the offices at 5 and 10 kilometer distances and compute demographics for the buffers. Because I chose to compute demographics, Maptitude also generates a report that shows a map with the buffers. It also has a table with the demographics for the population 0 to 5 kilometers from an office and the population 5 to 10 kilometers from an office. And when I close the report, you can see that Maptitude has updated the map as well with the office locations and the buffers. Maptitude maps are fully customizable. The display manager, shown here on the left side of the screen, gives you complete control of what is shown on a map and how to display it. You can change the style of map features. For example, change the style of the offices to stand out from the customers by making them a different symbol, color, and size. You can change the labels of map features. I'll change the labels on the office layer to stand out a little more by changing their color and size. And you can choose the colors used in individual items such as in the buffers like this. You can also choose to display or hide entire layers of features on a map. For example, I'll hide the buffers and the postcode layer on which the theme is displayed. In addition to the circular buffers, Maptitude has tools for creating drive time rings around the offices. For example, I will create three rings at 10 minute intervals. making sure to include my customer information in the drive time ring analysis too. And Maptitude will determine what areas are reachable from an office in 10, 20, and 30 minutes. Now that I can see how accessible the offices are to the customers, I can create a report of the results. Maptitude computes the demographics for the time rings and also shows the number of customers within 10, 20, and 30 minutes of an office and their sales totals, shown here down at the bottom of the report. Maptitude can create tables that list the cost of travel between any number of origins and destinations. For example, I can find the travel time and distances for the customers to the offices and display the results in the Excel file. This will allow me to determine the best alternative offices to serve any of the customers. Maptitude includes tools for finding routes. 
For example, I can find an optimal route that starts at the city office, visits each office for 30 minutes, and returns back to the city office. I can zoom in to better see the route, and if I click here, I can see directions from one stop to another. I can also create a PDF file with the route directions. Maptitude has tools for building and managing territory layers. For example, I can use the territory information in the original Excel file and match it with the postcodes on the map. Once the territories are built, you can adjust them to create better balanced territories. For example, I can modify a territory that has lower sales and then highlight some postcode areas in this territory with higher sales. And when I save the changes, you can now see that the sales volumes for the territories are more evenly distributed. Maptitude also has a facility location tool. For example, let's say that the office locations on this map are where I'm considering opening offices to serve the customers. I know that I want to open three offices from the four locations, and I want to weight the locations to serve customers with higher sales. Maptitude can determine which three will provide the best level of service based on my needs. In this case, the three offices shown with green checks will provide the best level of service. That wraps up this video showing you some of the many ways that you can use Maptitude and the Canada Country Package with your data. More in-depth information and tutorials on topics shown here, such as creating maps with your data, finding routes, and building territories is available on the Caliper website. In addition, you can find videos covering other topics such as filtering data by value or location, adding satellite imagery to a map, identifying catchment areas, and creating heat maps and hotspots.